One of the most important modules you'll download, and essential to every Drupal website, is Views, the database query engine that makes Drupal the most flexible CMS today. Views was first contributed to the Drupal community in 2005, and as you can see on the screen, it's come a long way. 3,241 commits by Merlin of Chaos alone. He and other maintainers for Views have really made it one of the essential tools for every Drupal website. In fact, it's so essential that Views will be included in the core of Drupal 8. You really can't build a Drupal site without Views. This is the main Views building screen in Drupal. There are five main elements you address whenever you begin a new query. Those are display, format, fields, filter, and sort. What kind of display are you going to have? Is it a page, a block, an attachment, or a feed? And we've got a couple of extra ones here. What's the format for your display? Is it an unformatted list? Is it a grid, an HTML list, a jump menu, a slideshow, a table? And we'll look at each of these as we go. What fields are going to be included in your view? In other words, what parts of your content items will you include in the table or the grid or the slideshow for any particular view? How is the view going to select the content? That's the job of the filter criteria. And finally, sort. How is your content going to be sorted when it comes out at the other end of the view? Let me illustrate it this way. If you were to walk into your local library, walk up to the librarian one day and say, Hi, I'd like all of the books printed between 1900 and 1905 whose author's last names start with the letters A through M that have more than 100 pages that have red covers. And I'd like you to sort those and I'd like you to bring all those books and put them right here on the counter. I'd like them sorted by publication date and then by author last name. Oh, and by the way, could you rip the covers off the books and set them up in a way so that I can see each one? I don't know about your librarian. I know what my librarian would say. Are you nuts? Well, essentially, that's what Views does. It queries all of the content on your site, giving you a list or a table or some formatted output of just the elements that you want, filtered the way you want, sorted the way you want. Now, Views can do much more than that. It can format the output with headers, footers. It can channel the output via permissions so that only certain users can see it. It can give us pagination. We'll look at some of these things. And then there are advanced elements as well, contextual and relational filters, where we can bring in content fields from other content types based on a relationship between two content types. And we'll demonstrate that. And we can also set up contextual views, where that based on the content item we're looking at, views can pull other content into the view and give us a lot of information. I said it a few moments ago. Let me reiterate. I don't think you can build a site in Drupal without views. It's the go-to query builder for all of the content on your site. So with that introduction, let's dig in.